Let's learn how to make this object glow effect in Unity. By the way, welcome to the channel where we make game development content and tutorials. Let's get started. So I have a blank 3D project here and the first thing I need to do is make sure that I have post-processing installed. So I'm going to go to Window, Package Manager, make sure that I'm searching in the Unity registry and install post-processing. Post-processing essentially works by putting a filter over the camera, but because of this we need to isolate the layer that the camera is on so the post-processing will only affect the main camera. So I'm going to create a new layer and name it camera and then assign my main camera's layer from default to camera. With that set up, we just need two components on our main camera now, a post-process layer and a post-process volume. The post-process layer tells Unity where to place our effects, so this is where we get to choose the camera and the layer to put the effects on. The post-process volume is where we get to set up our effects and alter other settings like priority and blending, but we really don't need those for this tutorial as we're only doing one post-processing layer. I'm checking is global here because I want these effects to be on the entire scene, and because we have not created any effects yet, I need to create a new post-processing profile so I can adjust the settings how I wish. There's a lot of cool post-processing effects here, but the one that is going to make our object glow is the bloom effect. None of the settings are set up by default, so we have to go in and check the ones that we want. The first three are all we really need for this, but this is one of those things where it's nice to have a starting line, and then you can play around with the other effects and get used to what they do. So Bloom works by taking light and bleeding the edges of the light. So to make your objects glow, they have to have, well, light. So on an object, how do we do that? Luckily, we can create a material that has an emission component, which will allow your object to emit light. I've created this new material and I'm going to keep all of the standard settings, but I'm going to go down to the emission checkbox and check it. And then from here, you can choose which color you want your object to glow. Of course, we need an object to place this material on, so I'm going to create a new cube and assign my material to it. At first glance, this looks like our post-processing hasn't worked when it in fact has, but keep in mind that lighting is essential here. Two things that come to mind here is that number one, the skybox is really bright so I might not be able to see the glow, and number two is that I might need to raise the intensity of my post-processing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the default skybox by going to Window, Rendering, and then Lighting. Once I have that tab up, I'm going to go to my skybox settings and select None to get this dark background. And while that's going to make it easier to see, I now know that I need to adjust the post-processing effects. Once I go back to my bloom settings, I realize that the intensity is set to zero, which isn't going to produce any effects. As soon as I bump up that intensity, you can see the glow very clearly, which means that everything is working. And there you have it. That's how you make an object glow in Unity with the built-in render pipeline. Thanks for watching.